Hey everyone, Jason Nunn, Fisherman's Warehouse, Tuckerwarp Marks Point, with the birthday Friday fishing report up here at Swansea Heads. The backdrop, as you can see behind me here at the moment, the sea is flat. A little bit of a westerly, bit of a west nor'wester at the moment. That'll go into this afternoon, and then tomorrow, of course, that wind will back off and really swing back around like a sou'wester late in the afternoon and really drop away, guys, well under 10 knots. Sunday and Monday, under 10 knots, variable wind Sunday, absolutely perfect. The zero line we talk about, in around about 700 fathoms, it just keeps pressing in, and reports of yellowfin has just started to filter through over the last week. Fish around about, that's 30 kilo or maybe better, but I did hear a rumor that somebody locally may have caught one in around about that 50 or 60 kilo mark. They are out there and the water looks beautiful and the current is under half a knot. So if you've got yellowfin, you've got to be a yellowfin fever happening. I know I have. Out on the shelf this weekend is exactly where it's going to happen. Get over the back there and have a bit of a look because Sunday in particular, picture perfect. As you can see, not a lot of whales here, strangely enough, although they have been coming through early in the morning, but a lot more out wide. And again, I had a couple of emails through the week about just the dangers associated with it. One of the guys last week, uh, the, basically the whale come through and grabbed hold of the anchor rope with its side flute there. So again, you've just got to be aware of this whale migration. There's a lot of fish moving north, so you just have to be really aware of it. And again, I said, and I'll stress, travel when you can in the daylight hours. Few very big trag down towards the Texas area at the moment. Uh, some good reports this week. A lot of the bigger trag, and some trag up to and above 70 centimetres taking live bait with, of course, the target species down there at the moment being kings. Yes, there are a few kings, they're not in giant numbers, but the bycatch of snapper and these bigger trag down there is really fitting the bill. Snapper out on the farm out here in and around about that 96 metre mark and of course the inner farm, one of those little forgotten areas, there's been a few reds out there and the inner farm's only in and around about 82 metres, 84 at best. So a lot of potential on these wider inshore reefs but in close there's a lot of variations, even a few small pearl perch just to the south of us here down towards Catherine Hill Bay, Waibang area, trag of course and some really good inshore snapper. And of course, we've got those mixed in fish, Big Bonito, Maui's flathead, that real mixed grill that's physically happening. With the water as clear as what it is at the present moment, you can see here, Moon Island, a lot of green-eyed squid in on these inshore reefs at the present moment. So that might be another bit of a tip as that wind folds away on the weekend to get out there and have a bit of a look for the green eyes. Some very good fish to the north, of course, up through that Merriweather, Newcastle area, uh, a lot of trag, Taylor, and of course we made mention of those snapper, but some nice fish up towards Port Stephen Searle Rocks as well, guys. Been still a few mull away in Newcastle Harbour, which is great to see, and a lot of mull away here in Lake Macquarie itself. Uh, the fish itself at the moment, have, have they've moved around. We're out there doing a couple of test runs through eat Pat and I, and not a lot of fish through the middle of the lake here, but some very, very good reports down around the Poolbra area, and particularly Poolbra Island West in that southern end of the lake is fishing very, very well. A lot of bait down through there, big numbers of tailor, a couple of salmon mixed in with them. But as we found out last week when Wayne Flanagan got in touch with us, some very nice snapper, and a good mate of mine, Stevie Norris, this week, a 65 centimetre snapper out of the lake went 3.2 kilo. That is the type of quality of snapper that we're actually starting to see in the lake and there are good numbers of the fish being getting caught, both on lures and of course fishing in the afternoon and floating baits. And look, the tide this weekend, guys, you've got a two o'clock high tide on Saturday afternoon. So by the time you get down to that southern end of the lake, it's gonna get in around about four o'clock. Absolutely perfect. Low tide around about quarter eight on Saturday. So the potential there is immense. So just to get out there and have a bit of a look, dew in the lake, a lot of variant in size, of course, the northern end of the lake are quite a lot of fish in and around about that 50 centimetres, up to about 75. I've had a few reports up there towards uh, Marmong, Spears Point, in and around that Warners Bay area, back towards Toronto. So there's quite a good 
uh, really a good variety of fish in the lake itself. On that test run that Pat and I had, I noticed there's still some very big whiting in the channel, although they're real sparse, they're spread out. But the quality of the fish that I've seen were excellent. Some very good ludric getting caught, not only at Lucy's, but right the way through the channel at the present moment. Greenweed presents us with a little bit of a problem. But if you can find a bit of greenweed, or of course with these flatter conditions this weekend, get down and get a bit of that rock cabbage. There's some very good ludric around, and still the odd king. A lot of guys asking me, are there salmon in Salts Bay yet? Look, there's been the odd one coming through, but the salmon at the moment have been on the beach, had an opportunity to fish the beach up on Belmont Beach there last Saturday afternoon with a crew of guys. A lot of salmon. Look, we would have thrown back about a dozen salmon, but the target was Taylor, and that's indeed what we got. We got a dozen cracking Taylor all around about that kilo or better mark. There were a couple of bigger fish lost too, and look, we just couldn't hang around long enough, but that moon was rising up, and there would have been a mulloway or so there, but the beach fishing along our part of the beach, particularly that back blacksmith's Belmont redhead area up in towards Dudley there, fishing well, but a lot of very good tailor off this blacksmith's Belmont stretch at the present moment. The fishing up at Stockton, guys, was going really well a few weeks ago, but it just slowed up a bit. But you're coming into that last quarter on Sunday night. So I just think that with that last quarter coming through, that the fishing will definitely improve up on that Stockton strip right up towards Baruby itself. Guys, this is the weekend. It's not often that we get a June long weekend where the weather is gonna be as good as what it is. And these conditions out here behind me are absolutely perfect. That wind will basically clear itself up. So it's a fantastic time to physically get out here and just take, just enjoy the sun and get some fishing done. Now, as usual, we're gonna do a few birthday specials. I talked about this. And this week we've basically brought into the, 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 what this, the theme of things for the land-based angler. And we've got basically what I call the ultimate land-based pack here. So really what we've got here is a nine foot six saltist, two piece spin rod, PE5. What we're gonna do together, we're gonna put a Shimano backpack with it. We've got 80 and 60 pound instinct leader here. We've got Daiwa stick bait, Jackson's, and of course, some of the Berkeley shimmers, and of course the big uh, plastics themselves. Now, retail value on this package, guys, $540. My birthday weekend treat to everybody, $299 for that as a land-based pack. Perfect for land-based mulloway, kings and of course if you're a rock fisherman down there casting out for dew and or long tails absolutely perfect we've got a few of these guys in stock and of course we're doing a lot of special store wide but we're doing another one for our jigging guys and particularly some of this indoor micro jigging and getting down towards wire bang and that where we've got a, some of these db solids in and they're going to be reduced at a clear out at half price so they're down to 149 guys i've got sales right across the board this weekend, no doubt you'll be popping in. We're there from six o'clock each day, right through till five, and the weather is perfect. Let's get out there. I'll see you next Friday.